Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about questions to ask when you're thinking about joining a network marketing team. This is Sharon from Dr. Business Builder. So I've been in a couple of different network marketing teams and I just wanted to tell you my experience. So for yourself, you're thinking about doing it. It's a great work at home business if you can make it happen. Unfortunately, most businesses fail. So these are some questions that you could ask that may help you. What do you like to do, right? Do you like health and wellness? Do you like skincare products? Maybe there's a company that does both. Do you like finance? Do you like making websites? There's all different types of network marketing out there. What I'll try to do is put a link in the uh, description below. So do take a look at that. All right, so you found your, your niche, what you, basically you wanna do. Now it's important, I think personally, because like I said, most businesses fail, the network marketing businesses fail, in general, most businesses fail. So do me a favor, right from the beginning, brand yourself. You should have your own website. You could link to the company. Now some companies have rules like you can't have your own website with their products on it, fine. What you could do is have your own website and then mention products and then link it to them so that you're in compliance with the company. But this way you're branding yourself and right from the beginning, you're making yourself the expert. You could write articles on skin, I'm gonna just say health and wellness because that's what I'm most familiar with. You can write articles on health and wellness. Now believe me, people will say, you know Sharon, blogs are dead. They're not dead, they real, they're not. And the reason why I know that is because I have a close friend that recently started doing a course where she writes long articles, like you know, 2,000 um, words each, and she puts quite a few of them out there. The bottom line is 60 days later, she already has organic traffic. So in no means do I think blog is dead, but that's an option, blogging. Social media, you wanna build up your online presence. That's so very important for this, okay? I know I'm kind of going off track, but these are things that will apply to all businesses, no matter what you do, and that's, that's what I do. I like to increase, I wanna work on increasing your online presence. So that's another way to go. And then definitely, which I'm doing now, videos. Videos are so important. It's probably one of the best ways that you can interact with or engage with your customers. And even better than that would be webinars. So bottom line is you're gonna pick a company, right? You're gonna get into that. Then you're gonna start asking questions. Well, what type of products, you know, after you see the list of products, how much does it cost to join this team? Because it usually, co it's going to cost money one way or the other. Now, how much is it to, s to join? How much is it monthly? Are there any yearly charges? These are all questions that you need to ask, all right? So this way, does it fit within your budget? Maybe there's a thousand dollar you know, package that they want you to buy. If you don't have the money, it doesn't fit into your package, like your, your, your budget. So there are other um, companies out there that are much cheaper, $50, $1,000, um, $50, $100, even I think like as cheap as 20 I've seen. So decide what niche you're gonna do, all right? Then you're gonna find out how much is it to join. Well, once I join, what are you gonna do to help me? Now, I'm all about trying to help others, and but in this particular case, when it comes to your business and you're doing network marketing and we talked about the failure rate, you need to say right from the beginning, what are you going to do for me? Listen, I'm giving you my money. What are you going to do for me? What is the online training? What's, you know, what do I get to do from this? Is there, are there courses in the beginning? What type of training are there for the, in the beginning? And then more importantly, the support. So once you start getting the birds around, they don't like me, you're this so, so close. I put feet out and uh, so anyway, but, um, so the bottom line is, right, you're going to ask as far as the products go, and then you're gonna say, what is in it for me? What can you do for me? So the training is so very important because you need to learn about the products, right? You're gonna be speaking about them. Do you have to know everything about the product? No, you definitely don't. But you wanna know like some tips about the product, right? If it's skincare, just oily skin, dry skin, like what goes where? So you're gonna have to spend some time doing that. What's, well, you know, what is that training? More importantly, what is the action plan? What do I need to do every day? Do you have graphic posts for me? Will I be doing this on social media? Are you planning on doing this at home, like home, you know, home parties? Are you going to be going to different businesses like hair salons and presenting your products? What is your action plan? What do they expect from you? How are they going to help you? All right, that's so important. Your commission structure. Believe me when I tell you that these commission structures are a little difficult to understand. I don't think they do it on purpose, but it's not like just, you know, not usually set fees as a one level, a two level, three level, depending on how far down people are that, you know, join under you. So that's important. What about bonuses? Well, you know, am I eligible for any bonuses? Is there a car bonus? Is there any other types of bonuses? You know, sometimes there's a retention bonus when you sign somebody on, you get X amount, but then they stay for three months 
perhaps there's you know another bonus you need to know all of that ahead of time so that you can strategically plan remember you're in it for money sorry you want to help people but you know your business has to thrive and it's only going to thrive if you're making money so what are all those bonuses that you're eligible for you want to know them right from you know the gate so that you know what to do you're going to have to have a strategic plan Tell me about your upline. How is your upline going to help? Are they going to be a no-show? Are they going to be helping you? Are, are there three-way calls? Are, are they going to go to a house party with you or a business? Are they going to sign people up under you? Or are they going to sign people up under themselves? Believe me, when it comes to money, I don't need to tell you, people are kind of strange about that. Be very careful. Ask the questions. Ask the team support. You know, how is so-and-so? Do you recommend somebody else? Really, look around because there's never just one person to sign under. There's multiple people. And certainly what you don't want to do is be signing up under somebody that is not going to help you. You need those three-way calls, you know, whether it's going to a house party, whether it's in a Facebook group, you need them to support you, all right? So these are all things that you want to consider. Um, as far as we talked about the com commission structure, we talked about planning uh, products to choose. These are things that are all important for you. All right, and then how are you going to train? You know, are there systems in place that allow you to sign somebody up and believe me, it takes a lot of time to train somebody. You want systems in place so you can say, okay, you need to go through 10, these, blah, 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 like 10 steps and then get back to me or reach out to me if there's questions. But you don't want to spend so much time training. You want systems in place and that all has to do usually with the company or your upline. The company doesn't have it. Sometimes the upline can you know, put together videos, but it should all be there. One of the things that you can do is when you sign on, you should be getting email sequences sent to you, like emails on a daily basis uh, or every other couple of days telling you what to do. You, you definitely need a, a plan in place. So that's all very important. All right. And so let me see what else I can do. Sometimes I always forget these things. Um, business training, we talked about comm structure. Comm structure, you also want to know, is it willable? So I built up a team. I'm making $200,000 a year. What happens if I die? Seriously, like you need to know these things because if it was a business, you'd be able to sell it off, right? You'd be able to give it to, um, you know, your children. Is this willable? What happens in that particular case if I get sick? Um, upline we spoke about and then um, ranks. What does it take to get to the rank? It kind of is what I touched upon before. I'm at this level. What do I need to get to the next level? And that all has to do with strategic planning right from the beginning. If you understand what you need to do in a, in a plan, like you're going to take a stepwise fashion and you know the best steps to take to basically maximize what it takes for this particular company, you know, to max out for the bonuses, then you should all have that in place. That's the bottom line. So the lots of questions. I'm involved in, um, I do a skincare, which I like. I love the products myself, but I also, what I really like to do is, um, I'm working with a company now. It has to do with online presence, increasing your online presence. You can make websites and you can make landing pages. You can do chat boxes. You could do online magazines. What I really like about this particular company is that not only can I sell the product, which is great because I can you know, build a team that way and make money, but more importantly, I can sell to other businesses, you know, like let me do your website for you if I wanted to go that route. I could make my own online courses. If You know, when you're out and about and you're with the movers and shakers, you have ideas flowing. Now you may feel like, oh, I'm a little stuck right now. I don't know what to do. Believe me, when you surround yourself with a team, and that has to do with network marketing, one of the best things about network marketing, even though people say, oh my God, the failure rate and oh my goodness, you know, you get surrounded by it's almost like a mini business school really um it's great training you get to see what other people are doing what what you can implement that's working what's not working it's all about business creating relationships getting them to know and trust you so that all has to do with business so the biz the company that i'm working with i just love it because it allows me to build a team but it also allows me to make my own courses any any digital products that i possibly want to make so what i like is multiple streams of income multiple ways to to make different money. Yes, I have the network marketing, but I also have my own website. I brand myself, which I told you right from the beginning is so very important because who knows what's going to happen with your business. And I mean this sincerely. You know, I have some close friends that were involved in um, one of the, they do like recipes and cooking and all of that. Um, I don't want to say the name, but the bottom line is they were so involved doing lots of blog posts, doing lots of, you know, Pinterest. 
and the, basically the company just closed up after 23 years. They had a lot invested, a lot of their time. Now what do you do? What do you do with like this website with all these different recipes and you can't even get the products anymore and so much time and money was invested into that. So be very careful. Try to, it's very hard to tell, you, tell which companies are really doing well or not because on paper, personally, I think that they can always make it look better than it is and these public companies really aren't on the stock market. So it's very difficult to tell like who's going to close up and not but do you know there's been a few companies I don't need to tell you that close up who knows when they're gonna close up so be careful of that as well you may not know who is gonna close up you probably won't but the bottom line is if you have your own website in um, in place and you're doing multiple streams of income and yes that's a great way to make income but you should build on that and do your own things like own courses um, that go hand in hand you know you don't want to compete with your network marketing company but you want to work hand in hand so you want to be able to do different things the other thing that you should ask about is when you're with a network marketing company do they prohibit you working with another network marketing company some of them do um, it could be at a certain level like once you reach this level they don't want you working with somebody else so definitely ask about that anyway i think i've spoken enough today i hope that these questions have helped um, you know what I want to do? I know it sounds silly, but I'm, I'm going to, let's see, we're going to do this. We are going to take this off. I can't see that well without my glasses, but I'm going to want to show you some of my. I love this. Sorry if you see my double neck, which I don't really have one. I'm trying, not too bad for 52, right? But anyway, some flowers. These are my cone flowers. Do you see them? I just love them so much. So we're thinking about having a party, um, family party at the end of the summer, right? And I said to my husband, I'm like, but the cone flowers won't be, won't be in bloom. We have, to, we have to do them now. He's like, you're so crazy. But anyway, this is um, my yard. I just love it. We were on a property like 40 by 100. I'm just babbling now and I was so happy to move here because I just love it and um, yesterday I was doing this video throughout the week and what happened like people were like mowing their lawns outside seven o'clock in the morning I couldn't believe it the landscapers come but anyway so I hope this video helped okay the bottom line is you really need to um, sorry I'm shaking so much you really need to think about what you're doing all the questions to ask okay lots of questions out there you'll do great just ask there's lots of people that are willing to help and you know um, the bottom line is ask as much as you can because it's your money and and you want this to succeed all right so I hope you guys are having a great day I'm going to go now bye